Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to Great Stirrup Cay, Norwegian's private island here in the Bahamas. I'm gonna show you guys around the private island with this happy dolphin guy and uh, show you what's good, what the things are to do. <laughs> All right, let's go check this out. All right, welcome to the beach here on Great Stirrup Cay. And this is kind of most of the island uh, as far as you see. It's, it's not the biggest private island out there, but it does have some pretty neat features. Um, one thing I would say is, you know, you get off the ship over there somewhere and definitely walk down because, you know, you look and there's a lot of people over here. There's tons and tons of people over there. But if you go on the other side over here, there's, you know, very few people. So keep walking as far as you go is one of the best pieces of advice I could give you. Be a little bit more peaceful and things like that. One thing I've really liked about this is, uh, you know, these giant pieces of rock they have out there i mean it's it's very neat very different a lot of times uh like we've been to uh, disney's castaway key a couple times and uh we've been to like carnival's private island things like that but this one it's very different because it does have these giant uh rock structures and uh it's definitely a, a bit of a different feel than on some of the other islands um so it, it's very nice well, water's beautiful it's pretty water's cold but i mean it's also very hot i mean it's got to be 85 90 degrees today and it's march yeah um, so we're going to show you around a little bit more. Lighthouse Beach. <laughs> That's a, like the man said, Lighthouse Beach Bar, one of uh, four different bars here on the island. And it's, it's the great thing about this is that if you're on Norwegian's ultimate beverage plan, your drinks are included on the island, so you can drink for free on the beach. Um, the, with everyone drinking for free, the lines do get long, but it moves pretty fast. That, that line there, you'll probably be have your drink in four minutes. Um, <laughs> I will give you the warning that it does have a, uh, Norwegian seems to love pre-mixed drinks, so don't order a bar, uh, Bahama Mama or a margarita because you're going to get just, yeah, something that just comes out of the faucet and it's kind of gross. But uh, I had some frozen drinks, it's good stuff, nice, helps me relax. Over here you get the end of Great Star Cay, this is sort of where it closes off for the regular guests. Um, you do have some pretty ugly and possibly loud construction equipment going on here. Uh, I'm not sure what Norwegian's doing, but they're definitely uh, making some improvements to to fancy up their private island. But uh, this was one of my favorite beaches. I love this kind of uh, really cool rock structure. Um, it, it really does scream like kind of beachy paradise, but it's sort of a, but a bit of adventure and things like that. A little tide pool. Yeah. yeah. Another thing available for rental is these uh, these big clamshell kind of things. So if you want to. A little bit more private experience. You could uh, rent one of those. Again, I'm, I'm not sure on pricing. They don't have a lot of the prices. Like, you got to go and ask about them. They're not really just out there. But if you want, you can rent one of those. Or you could bring your own, like that gentleman did down there. You probably just save him some uh, 30 bucks or so. Also, cool view over here. Another popular uh, water sport activity here is the paddle boarding, the stand-up paddle boarding. We've seen a lot of people do it. And Molly's disappointed because we've been watching people for hours and nobody fell in. I would definitely fall. Me too. I, I do not have good balance, and I drink too much. I'm like I almost do. Almost. He got himself. So a big part of these uh, private islands is cabanas, and they have a whole bunch of cabanas, and they're all brand new. And uh, nobody's in this one, so let's go take a look at it. Oh, that cabana comes with a hammock. Look at that. A big cabanas. They have a couple different, uh, couple different cabanas. This is uh, like your larger family ones. You got a mini fridge, a couple of really nice loungers, a couch. A lizard wandering by. I don't know if this is coming out on camera. I'm wearing my shades. There he is, I think. Yep. The giant. You get your own lizard. Complete with every cabana. Cool looking lizard. I have kids, I like animals. Anyway, if you want to rent a cabana, I'm not sure what the prices are. I'm guessing expensive because this is a really nice cabana. There's you get two. It? These are just a lot. Yeah, they're, these are the, the bigger ones. Looks like they have like their own private bar back there too for uh, cabana boys to run to get your drinks. But uh, these big cabanas, really nice. So I'm not really sure what to describe this as. It looks like a giant picnic pavilion, but it's really nice. They have a whole bunch of lounge chairs or uh, picnic tables over here. So if you want to get out of the sun, because it is got to be a good 85, 90 degrees with you know, not a cloud in the sky, so it's super hot. And very few trees, for sure. Yeah, so it's a good spot to come in and get out of the, get out of the sun. 
So this is sort of the main beach bar here. It's uh, Bacardi themed, and it's very large. Um, you're kind of your standard drinks, mojito, Cuba Libre, pina colada. So nothing exciting, and there's no like souvenir cups or anything like that. But uh, it's definitely kind of cool. Like I love these tables here. I didn't see this earlier, Molly, but uh, like these high tops, like that's cool. Like if you could snag one of these and then just kind of drink for an hour. Like those, those are cool spots. Those are cool spots. They've also got a great sign over here, so if you want to, you know, take some pictures by the big Bacardi Norwegian and with the ship in the background. Um, definitely can see how this is like the main bar. They have a stage here that's not being used right now, but I guess they could do some sort of like party type atmosphere stuff too. But I love the high tops by the ocean. Also, great photo op. As soon as you get off the boat, there's uh, you're greeted with this. So a lot of people take pictures out here, and it's a, a really nice picture. Now, if you signed up for an excursion and you wanted to find out about excursions, you um, you get checked in right over here. And then I guess if you want to buy souvenirs from your trip to Singray City, you go over there. But again, you get off the boats right here, you walk in, and it's one of the first things you see. This is kind of a detail I really like too when you come in. Um, there's all sorts, some, a couple different like sculpture type seats, but this one is my uh, my favorite. A big like uh, old like Poseidon head or something like that. It's one of the first things when you see when you come in. So here is the Jumbie Beach Grill, which is where you come to get lunch on the island, one of two places that serves food. And um, this one's interesting, it actually, they don't tell you this, but a bit of a word of us, there's actually four different buffet lines, two of which start right here. But if you go to the ones on the side, you'll have no weight and you'll get your food right away. So definitely go to the ones on the side. And also I gotta say, like a lot of things on the island, it's a, like a brand new structure. Like this must have been built within the last year. And it's the same way with the cabanas and a lot of the bars. Like it feels like they've spent a whole lot of money in this island because everything feels brand new. And I, I don't normally say that. Kind of a simple lunch here on the island. I got a burger, a dog, and I got a St. Louis style pork rib. Interesting thing, the, it comes with locally spiced barbecue sauce. And then, um, fun fact over here, where you get the, the beverages, all those people are lined for like water or juices, there's also a full bar right here. It's one of the shortest lines in the entire island. So, uh, Molly wanted a water, but I got blue moons because the weight is, uh, well, the weight is much quicker to get beer. <laughs> Not really how that should work, but um, guess, how's the food, Molly? It's okay. Not not horrible, not fantastic. There we go, Mediocre. food's not horrible. Here's sort of the main beach area and you've got just uh, like thousands and thousands of these lawn chairs. Uh, pretty much all of them are taken too. Like this is the, the kind of thing like I don't like this. I wanna go farther down and have a much more remote beach experience. So uh, if, if you wanna come and be over here with thousands of people, you could do that. But uh, if me, head down, go way past the Bacardi bar towards that lighthouse bar and go down there. But. Uh, Obviously, a lot of people here. We're on a we're on the Norwegian Epic, which has about four thousand guests, and I think everyone got off the ship. Also, palm trees makes it feel very very islandy, so I like that too. On the island, they have a marketplace here. It's the Buried Treasures Bazaar, and this is run by um, some local Bahamian people, where you can go and get all sorts of souvenirs and things like that, just like you would see in like the straw markets of the island. That same kind of idea, except they have one here at the private island. A um, couple things. One, you got to bring cash because they're not associated with Norwegian, so you have to bring cash and you pay for your stuff. And it's some really cool stuff. They had some. Uh, I really like the uh, some wood carving stuff we saw. You know, you get some trashy T-shirts and penisy statues, which I don't know who would buy a penis statue, but <laughs> it's just weird. We thought I have that in the house. There's some hose on here. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. Um, so that that's the good part. The bad part, they don't have like an official Norwegian. Great Stirrup K gift shop, which is kind of disappointing. Like, uh, I feel like they could sell a lot of merchandise and people would want to buy that. Uh, you know, an officially, uh, probably a little bit nicer in quality uh, shirt from Norwegian itself, but that's something they don't have. But, uh, it, and also the good thing about this too, is like, um, this is our only stop on our cruise. We're on a three night cruise. And we, if you love the straw market and that kind of thing, you're not going to get one on this cruise because this is our only stop. So you do get that sort of experience here on the, the private island. Beach time favorite, sand volleyball. And, there it is. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going over here to check out is the observation platform where you go and take pictures of the cruise ship over there in the distance. Also, the Norwegian Epic, probably one of the ugliest cruise ships I've ever seen. It, it sort of feels like, like it's got like a Cyclops from X Men glasses on the front of it. I don't know, that, that's what came to mind in my nerd mind. Anyway, let's go check out the view from the platform. And here's the uh, the view from the platform you get up here. And really, um, it's kind of the only spot on the island where you get a really great shot of the cruise ship itself compared to take your pictures. I think we're gonna take a picture. 
That's what we're going to do. <laughs> it's where we've been dating uh, for like five years. We have not taken a single couple picture on this trip, and it's day three. So I think we'll do our one obligation couple picture to send to like the parents or someone like that. And we'll do it up here. Also cool, like another like kind of tide pool back here. Neat. More bars, more drinking. This time we're at the Patron Beach Bar, which is um, home to Patron. And it's very popular. It's one of the more popular uh, stops as far as uh, the bars go. Also, one of the few that has music. A lot of them don't have music. Also, you have a nice uh, chairs and seating area, too. So the other place you can get food is down here. It's sort of the other end of the island, the one closest to the ship, and that's the Abaco Taco, yeah. which is very popular. Look at that line. And this is, you know, well, we were right here at lunchtime. It is uh, about one in the afternoon, and plus tacos are delicious. Um, we have not had this yet. I don't know if we will because, again, long line. But uh, Molly's going to sort of go and investigate, see if it looks good. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's probably good. Plus, people like tacos. Anyway, this is one of your two dining establishments. Uh, so Molly wanted to point out that there's bathrooms back here, sort of by the Lighthouse Beach Bar, and there's no line. Because sometimes these women's restaurants, you've seen lines with like, like 30 minutes. 30 people. Like, it, that's nuts. Come over here, go to the end of the beach, and you're... Uh... I was the only one. There we go. Guys, and that'll do it. We're done with uh, Great Syrup K. Nice. I, I enjoyed it. We're going to go get them back on the tender boat to the ship. It's um, not a, a port you could, you know, your ship can't park here. So you have to get on a little tiny, small ferry boat to get back to your big, giant cruise ship boat. Love that too. I think I talked about that earlier, but it's still cool. I mean, it's fun. You know, I, I really enjoy the private island. Um, my favorite parts was uh, one, everything felt really new, which was weird and nice. Um, free drinks would be my second favorite. I liked how it felt different, you know, than some of the islands where it's just like typical beachy stuff. And this was like uh, very much kind of, you know, there was rocks and a little bit more adventurous to it. Um, so that was my favorite parts. Um, least favorite parts? Oh, lunch was okay. Um, I can't really say too much bad stuff, but I guess there isn't a lot of activities or things to do. Like, I wish there was like a band in one area or uh, like uh, bar games or something like that. Well, what were your thoughts? I like it. It's relaxing, especially if you get farther down the beach. Mm -hmm. um, it had a good selection of drinks. And uh, I, this is what you think of when you come on a cruise. Mm -hmm. You think of the private islands, yeah. beach paradise. And I'm excited to see what they're building and maybe come back here in the future yeah, to see what they're building. There's more construction going on over here. And uh, that'll do it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you and get the answers. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for all the videos. And uh, we'll see you next time. I have to turn the camera back on here because I think this is really cool. Before you get back on your tender boat to leave, you like go through a foot wash to get everything, uh, all that sand and stuff out. Love that idea.